Hello, I'm Britt from Santa's Finds and welcome to my video. Last night I read this amazing children's graphic novel and I was just so excited about it that I wanted to film a little book review discussing it just to tell you about it and to share it with the world because it was so sweet and a five star children's graphic novel for me. I adored it on so many levels. It is called Pilu of the Woods by Mai K. Nguyen and I read this via Hoopla which is, if you don't know what Hoopla is, it's an app where you can check out movies, books, graphic novels, and other media from your library via the app, the internet. So, so it's basically an ebook rental. Um, and I was just looking to read a graphic novel last night before I went to bed and I was just browsing on Hoopla and I saw this cover and I was like, this looks like I would really like it. And I was right, I know myself so well. First of all, I'd like to say that the author, Mai K. Nguyen, wrote, illustrated, colored, and lettered this graphic novel. So she did all of those things for this graphic novel, which props to her because, wow, she is talented. The illustrations were amazing, the story was perfect. I just, I'm so blown away by this graphic novel and just in total admiration of Mai. This is about 156 pages long and it is about a young girl named Willow who has lost her mother and she feels a lot of emotions about having lost her mother. Not only the grief of the experience but how their last interaction went before she passed away because Willow is a young child who has lots of very strong, almost explosive emotions and she struggles to sort of rein it all in and the way she copes with her emotions is by bottling them, which doesn't always work out so well. So one day when she goes into the woods, she meets another little girl called Pailu and they become friends because Pailu is from the woods, she is a woodland entity, and she has ran away from home and thinks that she doesn't even want to go back home because her mother doesn't pay enough attention to her, she doesn't care about her, um, she's always just trying to control Pailu, and she just wants to get away from all that. So the two girls, Willow and Pailu, bond in the woods and they have certain realizations together and they meditate on the beauty and intricate complexities of the forest and the ecosystem and not only is it a learning experience for Pailu but also Willow and what they can ultimately take home with them from their friendship is so amazing. So it's such a wholesome story. Though I am an adult and in theory I already knew the major emotional themes of the book, it was just such an amazing reminder and a really great allegory of how to view our emotions and our both bad and good feelings that we have inside us that intermingle and try to influence our behavior and our speech and it was really well done. I definitely want to spend a little bit of time praising the illustrations because, like I said, Mai did all of this herself. She did have an editor for the graphic novel as a whole, but her the creation of it all was her. And I think that's so impressive. I love her style so much. It has so much movement and texture in it. I love the color scheme of her illustrations. They're very soft yet colorful and I love the way that the different elements of the drawings are colored in this very soft painterly texture combined with the linear hatching of her line work. So there's the texture of her pen strokes as well as the painting quality to the illustrations. The dialogue and the lettering is incredibly easy to read, almost in a very hand-drawn manner. I love how certain sections that were shaded were completely blocked in that black or dark brown 
shade though there are some negative spaces within that to add depth and texture to those parts but I think that the way she contrasted the very dark shaded areas with the more nuanced more painted spaces was a really eye-catching and exciting reading experience and viewing experience i also love how she drew nature and all the little details she incorporated there are so many scenes where pailu and willow are walking through the forest together and we get the textures of the river with the line work the tree bark the little forest growths along the forest's ground like mushrooms, viney plants, flowers, and the fluttering of butterflies and the flying of birds, the movement of the wind, the textures of the sky, the pine trees amongst the forest, and so the illustrations were so refreshing and I found myself reading it very slowly, honestly, though I did read it in one sitting just to study the drawings and to take notes of her different techniques because I think the combination of the different influences of her art was, were, just came together so beautifully and so enjoyably and peacefully, moreover. I also love how the color scheme of Willow's memories of when her mother was alive varied from the color scheme of the present moment in the present day timeline in the forest so that it sort of framed the flashbacks in a more cohesive manner and it was just sweet. It was just so lovely and amazing. I'm wearing this dress today for this book review because it, it takes inspiration from the tone of the graphic novel. I think that no matter if you're a child, a teenager, an adult, reading this graphic novel is just so peaceful and beneficial and just a great contemplation of our emotions and how we, how we treat ourselves and how we treat our feelings. I just so highly recommend this. If you like reading graphic novels, this is a great one to read before bed. It will give you sweet, woodsy dreams, very cottage core. I do not have much more to say other than I really, really enjoyed it and I hope you read it. I think if you need a little bit of sunshine in your life, this might be a great remedy for whatever blues you're feeling, or even if you are on a really good emotional journey right now and you just want a little bit more to boost that or to fortify your emotional positivity, um, this would be a great graphic novel to read. And I, again, I highly recommend it. So yes, and this graphic novel came out in 2019. So it's actually a couple years old now at this point. So please leave me a comment if you've heard of this, if you've read this, or if you would like to read this now, because this is my favorite graphic novel that I've read this year so far. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye. See ya.